Hi and welcome back to the channel. I've got an engine management light on my Vito. Uh, so I've connected up my very cheap Amazon diagnostic tool and it's shown I've got a P0069, which seems to be a barometric pressure correlation issue. So it might be the sensor, might be the air intake manifold, something to do with air coming into the engine or what it senses to be the air pressure so I think it might be the sensor, I'm not sure. But I have other issues with the air intake and I'll just show you those first. So this is how we bought the car. Um, it's had 11 months MOT on it when we bought it and we've been running it. But now the MOT's up, what do we do? We've got to fix it because we've got an engine lamp. So fine, I've been driving it like this for 11 months with the engine management light on. But I haven't had any problems. Okay, it is a bit sluggish. It is a bit slow going uphill. Never overtaken anything. So I need to sort that engine management light out before the next MOT, which is up right now. So this is clearly odd. On here, there's an arrow. So I'm going to take this off and show you. Um, it just doesn't fit. Okay, let's have a look. There we go. That simply doesn't go into there. I mean, it doesn't matter how hard you try, the diameter of that and the diameter of that are exactly the same. They are not gonna fit. There is an arrow on here, and that should be around the other way. So we just take that off. So I think that engine management light is something to do with the air intake, and we wanna sort that out first. That, Let's get this whole thing out. So that is meant to go in there like that, which it does to a degree, but it simply will not fit. I mean, no way unless I get another piece of pipe to go around there. So something still isn't right so this all looks right now it's not squeezed up against there it fits in there fine but i've still got this so that tells me that should fit into this all right so it's part of the air management system but and it does now that should go in there I just, I just cannot get it to fit. So I've tried not just one, not two, I've got a third one as well. So I don't know, I'm gonna have a go at this today and try and get one of these to fit in there properly. But I suspect, and I'm not sure, this might be wrong. Um, Cause there just isn't enough room to squeeze these in. Some of you do know me. <laughs> And some of you know really well that um, I didn't just leave it like that and I have been trying and trying to get this damn thing into there or any way whichever and um, I'm just going to show you a few clips now of my very vain attempts to try and get that fitted in there because <laughs> I can't give up <laughs> so but because of those attempts I do now realise this is the wrong air filter and I can move on at last. But there's not much room. Well, there isn't any room. But that... It doesn't make any sense to me. There's just no room at all. That only wants to go into there. I want it to go right back to there. Just to give me a little bit of space.
So I've just got a few days left to the MOT now. I'm getting pretty desperate, so I'm gonna go back to YouTube, go back to eBay, try and find something. I try a different airbox. I think that must be the problem. I can't understand why that airbox, if it is wrong, why it's on the van. I guess I'll never know. Well, the new air intake is here, so let's have a look. Keep your fingers crossed. I think, if you look, airflow meter is already in this one arrow pointing that way interestingly so I had it round the wrong way anyway and that goes in there like that so that's already in look at the difference massive difference so I think the one that we bought on eBay is the right one for the car so Can't be that easy, surely. So, so this airbox is for this fan. What it is now. I've been to Mercedes Benz, and they will put a diagnostic tool onto your van to find out what the issues are. My small diagnostic tool is very simple, and I don't get the detail that I I need. So that cost me £180. You might think that's expensive, but just wait. They also gave me an estimate for the parts I would need to put the van right. And that would include one of these mass flow sensors and two of these. So, shockingly, that came to, and then if you can see that at the bottom there, £1,023. So one of those and two of these, over a thousand pound. They just put that into perspective. The van I bought from a scrapyard cost a thousand pound. These three parts are more expensive than the van. I just cannot get over that. And I think really, it does say a lot, doesn't it? That's made me really rich. I've got one, two, three and one on the van four thousand pounds that's made me rich look at the money i can make i can have a fleet of vans for that it's crazy money though isn't it so i'm gonna have a go at this i'm gonna put the two sensors on and swap this out for a new one uh, and let's do an engine check see if we still got a, an engine fault And the second sensor is hidden right down here. You might be better off getting to it from the bottom of the car or from the top. It is accessible. Well, it's that time. Let's put the key in the ignition. Let's see if we've got an engine lamp or not. Here we go. Yes! 
Yes! I can do an MOT. Not only that, it just... Oh dear, what a relief. Um, well, if you see anything else in the engine bay that's not factory, could you let me know? Uh, I'm very eager to get it back to factory, get all the right bits on the band. Um, thank you for watching guys. I'm going to take it for a test drive now uh, and then book it in for an MOT. Here we go. And just to show you, there you go. No lamp. Result.